Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you um, some images of my artwork that's in the Kenline Museum at the moment. And here's one of my uh, ceramic teapots. And if you look at it, it comes off this base and it has a little handle. And I do these on the potter's wheel. Um, and they're just they're a lot of fun to do. Here's a couple of other ones. And again, everything that you're looking at is on a potter's wheel. This is another teapot. All right, and you can kind of check it out. All right, um, it's got a little bit of a lid here. The stand is actually hand built, but the teapot itself is is um, made on the potter's wheel. Here's a oil and vinegar set. Okay, a little kind of a fun play here. And I want to show you this too, especially while I've got pretty good light. But here's my Aqua series, and uh, you can get some idea of what these pieces look like, especially when light hits on them. They're just almost this real translucent porcelain. Um, here's one of my larger bowls, and where I use thick porcelain slip to create that surface. All right. And then over here is one of my, another one of my teapots. All right, and I, I throw the spout and the handle for this. All right, I throw these little guys too, they're kind of fun. Um, but this just kind of picks up right in the hand. And I like these teapots a lot. Um, and I like making stands for it because it gives a reference of scale and size. Um, just by making that little window, you get an idea that this teapot is actually quite large. Um, here's another teapot. I love the teapots because you get to play with all the different elements of that. Um, here's this guy. All right, again, wheel thrown. So I just throw a ring for this part and then I squish it together and then I throw the top and the bottom. Um, and I got a little lid, all right. And then I'm gonna show you a pretty, this one's kind of fun. All right, ooh, look at, those are looking pretty good right now. Um, but this is a kind of a fun one I did a while back. It's actually a teapot in two cups. So if we grab this, take that, that like down stacks and comes a cup. All right, and then here's the teapot. And it comes off. All right. And then you can kind of pour it, and this guy too comes off. All right. And you kind of got your little. Um, and this part here is actually wheel thrown. It's kind of thrown on its side, and then it's and then I I flip it, and scrape the surface with a wire brush. All right. And this is just glaze. So again, this is ceramics. What you're looking at. All right. And then I like these little guys. Here's another little teapot. Okay. All right, so that comes off. Um, and the building, the red building is actually a jar as well as this one. I think they kind of complement each other a little bit. Um, and so the lid can kind of, comes off right here. You can put whatever you need here. And the same as here, All right, that just kind of comes up. And then I sandblast that surface, give it that matte quality. Uh, and I like that a lot. Again, this is wheel thrown. And then there's this little guy here. I got a little, little ewer. Okay, on a, like a little mountain. There's some texture here. Uh, you kind of get an idea what this sort of looks like up close. All right. All right. Here's one more. Now, this is the back side of it. Um, but I've got a little ewer here. I've got a little ewer here. All right. And then this is a little cream and a uh, little sugar jar. All right. And if we come around the front side. Kind of like a whole little building set here. And if we look, 
at the inside, these guys come out. All right, so there's a little ewer. I like the one that's kind of tall, and then you got a short one here. He's just hanging out there. Um, and again, I like to really reference architecture, but if I stand back, you can kind of get a sense for what this thing looks like. All right. There you are. Okay. There's the back side of that one. And then here's just these little guys again. And then if we come over here, this is a gl couple glazes that I've been working with. I think it complements this painting of Moritz Kellerman pretty well. Uh, and then you kind of get a sense of what that looks like. And that's kind of my latest glaze I'm sort of working on. All right, and you can see how it looks. All right. Kind of a larger bowl. It's hard to see. I mean, it looks like my hand's big, but it's actually quite a big bowl. All right. There's my name. And then, I used to do a lot of these in the, in the back of the day. It's just a large platter. Um, so you maybe can get a sense of scale, but it's about 24 inches across. Uh, if I back up, you can probably see a little bit um this is a beautiful gallery here but those are just some of the highlights of my pieces um so if you're in the Des Plaines, illinois uh area please come and check out the show it's open for a little little bit longer all right show you these two guys again all right But I love using the potter's wheel uh, and creating anything with it, so. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little tour. Um, have a great day, okay? All right, bye now.